Hi, it's me, Valentina V, and if you've been following along, in the last two videos I showed you how to import motion graphics templates from Adobe Stock into your Premiere Pro project, and how to create your own template using After Effects. But now that you've created it, why not share it? Why not upload it to the Adobe Stock Marketplace so that other creators can share it and use it, and you can get revenue? That sounds good to me. But first, you have to prepare your template for submission. First, make sure that you're not using any third-party plugins, and if you have videos or photos, that you have the proper rights to those. I'm just using shapes and text layers, so I'm fine here. Next, make sure that your dummy texts are general. For example, you're using John Smith, your company, instead of a real name and a real company. As you can see, I used top line and bottom line here as my dummy text. Take it away, voiceover. Make sure that your poster frame, aka the thumbnail, is at the most optimal spot. Now I'll modify the name to Slice and Reveal Title Overlay because not only is this a title, but it has in and out animations and an alpha background, making it a title overlay. Also, the default font I'm using is important. I chose Gil Sans Nova because it's from Adobe Fonts, and therefore anyone will be able to sync the font automatically once they import the template. Now, something most people don't realize is that whatever expressions you have in your project are written in your language, in this case, English. Like here, you see in the bottom text layer, the fill expression uses the English words, this comp layer and effect. This means that if a person with a different language version of Creative Cloud opens it in Premiere, all of the expressions will be broken because the words for layer and effect are different. There's a great expression parsing engine available through AE scripts called Expression Universalizer 3. And once you download it, you can pull it up under the window menu and process all the comps with that expression that are relevant to your template. That will make sure that no matter what language Creative Cloud is in, the expressions work. Now you can click Export Motion Graphics Template and be sure to select these two compatibility boxes. When you sign up to become an Adobe Stock contributor, they will send you a unique upload link. But before you go ahead and upload your motion graphics template, there are a few other things you need to package together with it. Here's my folder. It contains the footage folder. This is empty because I have no footage. The original After Effects project file, the motion graphics template itself, this MP4 video I made of the Mogurt in action showing off the different features it has, including how it can change colors, fonts, and duration and the thumbnail where the graphic is set against a black background. Now I can zip all that up and submit it along with a metadata sheet that you can find on the Adobe Contributor website. This sheet includes which category my template belongs in, what keywords could be used to search for it, and bulleted information on what customization options I've included. For price, it's level C Premium 1. For preview media, I'll write NA because I didn't use any photos or videos. I actually didn't submit this particular template as a premium template. Instead, it is available for all of you for free right now in Adobe Stock. That way you can just start using it for free in your projects. If you want to create a template and submit it to the Adobe Stock Marketplace, I'd love to know about it. Tweet me at Valentina V. Thank you so much for watching, and I hope you have a great rest of your day. Bye.